Good evening friends. So today I'm going to guide you or educate you on how to differentiate your upper arm issues whether it is cervical spondylitis or it is a trapeziitis or it is periarthritis shoulder, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, the wrist problem or it is carpal tunnel syndrome. We, you should know how to differentiate it before your doctor start treating it. Okay, now cervical spondylitis, cervical spondylitis or anything related to the disc in the nerve, disc and the nerve, when you perform a chin tuck, when you perform a chin tuck, if there is any pain which radiates down, it means the cervical spine is involved. So the second thing is, if your movements are restricted, even the slightest of the movements gives you a tremendous pain, then it is a problem related to disc. Now, the second thing is, if you turn your head extremely to right and left, and only in the end range it is paining, then it is a problem with your trapezius muscle, or we call this in trapeziitis. The third thing comes is the frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder is the last stage of the shoulder problem. Before that is a periarthritis shoulders. All the muscles which support the shoulder might get disturbed. Any one muscle might get disturbed. Shoulder might be dislocated down. There are many things. The easy method to find whether my shoulder is disturbed or not is to perform an upper arm test. This is one method. Or scratching your scapula. This is a second test which you can do it and check it out whether your shoulder is in good conditions or not. The shoulder, neck, the trapezius. Now coming to the tennis elbow issues, when you down the wrist and try to lift the wrist with the resistance, if there is a pain then it is a tennis elbow issues. Similarly if you keep your hand this way and try to lift your hand up with the resistance and if there is a pain here then it is golfer's elbow. Related to the wrist joint, if the wrist joint lower or the or the elbow joint, okay, if it is involved, your turning of movements of this movement will be painful. It means it is from the wrist joint it is involved. If it is a carpal tunnel syndrome, keeping your hand bent for certain period of time, let's say one minute, half a minute, will make all the fingers numb and you have to just move your fingers or keep the object down so that you can get rid of the pain. So this will be carpal tunnel syndromes. Every treatment, the managements are different. Cervical spondylitis is different, trapeziitis is different, periarthritis is different, frozen shoulder is different, tennis elbow is different, golfers is different, the wrist joint is different and the carpal tunnel syndrome is different. So make sure you know what you are being treated by your doctors. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can see continuous videos. Thank you.